Hey, this is Tony from Good Stash in Hermosa Beach, California, the owner of Good Stash Glass. I'm here to talk about a political issue, a political issue that uh, was arose. I didn't start the fight, I'm just going to finish it. That's the way it works. You guys know how I treat our own industry when they mess up, so I'm going to have to treat this guy the same way. This is Daryl Crackhead Roussan, a Florida Democratic representative from the 55th District. He sponsored a bill and pushed it through that is only purpose is, if you people on YouTube don't know, this crackhead, Daryl Crackhead Roussan, sponsored a bill in Florida that passed to cap the success of American business owners of the opposite race himself, smoke shops. What this bill says is that if you sell a pipe, hand pipe, water pipe, or any other pipe, it can only be 25% gross. But he didn't say, the bill doesn't say if you go over it, you pay a little fine or you pay a fine or anything else. It says you violated the law, you were eligible for criminal violations and fines and jail time. So what'd you do? You capped success. You basically said, we don't want successful Americans. You, just discussed, you didn't ban the pipes. You didn't say water pipes are banned. You didn't say hand pipes are banned. You didn't say bowls are, uh, for water pipes are banned. You didn't say freaking... Nice custom pieces are banned. You said, if you're successful, you're now a criminal if you own a smoke shop in Florida. Except if you're on tribal lands, which then of course, you don't have, you get extra rights, more rights than Americans. So, because the only industry that's ever competed against another with preferential treatment and stayed alive is what? Smoke shops. Smoke shops, predominantly owned by non-blacks, statewide, which just so you know, 85% of freaking Florida is, uh, is white, so true off. Um, the point I'm getting at is, the guy that sponsored the bill, why wasn't it brought up that he's done nothing but hate other races his whole life? His whole private sector life, his whole public life, he's done nothing for an opposite race. Nothing. The guy's a scumbag. You know? I'm sorry, dude. If a white guy comes up and says, let's hate black businesses, fuck you. You're a piece of shit. Go away. We want to hear you. But this idiot does? Oh, my God. Let's get on this guy. Three days, less than 10 hours, and I've already found out this much. Media, how scummy and retarded are you that you didn't find out this information about him? He's a crackhead. Just so you know, he's still affiliated with two drug dealers. I got their phone numbers, buddy. Yeah, dude. Maybe you should stay away from the south side, dude. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, we'll get to the other one. You're a, confessed, you're a confessed crackhead. You've used cocaine while defending clients as a shitty attorney. Look at your track record, dude. You're pathetic, dude. You lose more cases than you freaking try. I don't even know how that's possible. You know, your best, your most famous client was Daryl Strawberry. We all know what that happened there, right? Yeah, <laughs> you got convicted and got sent to jail. Congratulations on that one, dude. Good job. Not only has the Bar Association sanctioned him for misconduct, unethical uh, practices, as well as reprimands, as a private attorney, he was so ineffective, <laughs> and ultimately his freaking firm failed, because of course, the only way he would ever get his name on the letterhead was if he started his own firm. So, Roush and Associates, yes, failed, and when they finally went under, uh, he owed over six figures to banks like Wachovia. Um, whatever, dude. This crackhead has filed Chapter 7 bankruptcy, house foreclosures, uh, did a skanky lawyer trick to get out of $350,000 in back taxes. You know, of course, why do you want to be an elected official leading society when you don't want to contribute to society through taxes? You're a scumbag, bro. You're the worst. Dude, District 55, the best you have to offer is a crackhead loser lawyer, failed businessman, bankruptcy scum, dude. That's the best you have? That is the best person that you could put up for office. Seriously? I mean, the whole world laughs at Florida. Hey, they can't count, dude. What a stupid idiot. They can't count. Ch using Chad's as an excuse, dude. It's rudimentary math. It's called freaking addition. Try it someday. I mean, you know how pathetic? I'm sorry, dude. I'm a, in a tourist city. I make fun when I see Florida thing. I can't help myself. Hey, dude. Hey, hey, what's two plus two? He's got to do it. I, mean, it's, I can't help it. Ah, I mean, it's disgusting to me internally that in America that preaches freedom and democracy, we can't even do simple addition in our own presidential elections. 
but now we hire crackheads with bankruptcies in a financial time. There was one famous politician that said, economy, stupid. Yeah, we're in a crappy economy and you're hiring people with bankruptcies in Chapter 7, you know, and foreclosures. Now, to show how transparently shitty crackhead Roussan is, uh, a bank called Cornerstone gave this guy a private loan while he was in the middle of a foreclosure, in the middle of a bankruptcy, with a $350,000 plus dollar lien from the IRS over his head, gave him a $250,000 loan. Banks, private banks have that right. My question is, is, has anybody heard the word political payments? Because I dare you to find any other person that has gotten a loan for $250,000 construction loan and then to be followed up by an over half million dollar mortgage. First of all, how many half million dollar homes are in District 55? All right, point in case. Okay, they don't exist. Dude, they don't exist. Go find me somebody who has a bankruptcy right then, a foreclosure, unpaid debts to banks for business loans, and a $350,000 tax lien from the IRS. It doesn't exist, dude. Political payment. Dude, this guy's so corrupt, it's not even funny. You know, you did something to distract Florida so you could pass another bill. But that's not my, my issue. My issue is this. Pipes are banned in Florida. You can still sell them. So why did you cap success to any American business? But you didn't cap it on the reservations. You didn't cap it on the tribal land right across the bay. Okay, let's just get to, let's just get to some meat stuff. Okay. In less than three days, I already got your white blonde mistress. Yeah, Angela Rousson. Two things. First of all, 